Hi everyone! Guess what? Another K-pop discussion video is ready for you to watch! Did you get excited to see what was shaking the whole K-pop world last week? Let's come first to the hottest discussion recently which is about the beef between the trio Chen Baekhyun Shuman and SM Entertainment. Particularly on June 1, Chen Baekhyun and Xu Min delivered their official statement through their legal representative and lawyer Lee Jae Hak from law firm Lin, announcing that they had submitted a notice of the exclusive contract termination to SM Entertainment. The reason for their action is that SM Entertainment has been refusing to provide papers on how the EXO members have received payments since their debut, even after the trio requested such documents seven times from March 21 until May. The three Idols believe that there are problematic aspects of their earnings and have decided to exercise their rights as artists and demand transparency from the company. According to Lin, the agency has a history of forcing its artists to sign lengthy exclusive contracts of up to 13 years and recently demanded early renewal to extend contracts to at least 17 to 18 years, while the standard contract recommended by the government is only 7 years. The trio claims that these slave contracts are unfair and violate existing laws surrounding exclusive contracts in the entertainment industry. Thus, Baekhyun, Shuman, and Chen have chosen to pursue legal action against SM to act as advocates for other artists under similar binding contracts. However, SM denied all allegations, saying that they will pursue legal action against the outside forces that are luring the trio into breaching the valid exclusive contracts they have signed with the company. Although SM did not point any names out, a media report revealed that BPM, Big Planet Made, received a letter of notification from SM after capturing evidence of this company's attempts to approach Chen, Baekhyun, and Shuman through MC Mong, whom SM claimed was a director at BPM. PM and induced the three EXO members to enter into contracts with them. However, later BPM countered the report in an interview with Sports Soul, stating that MC Mong met the artists out of personal connections without no intention of recruitment. Later, Baekhyun Chen and Xu Min also rebut SM's statement, stating that SM's claim of an external force involved is totally false, and the company is trying to manipulate public opinion. The lawyer of the trio also added that they are mature enough to make their own decision and are wise enough not to be seduced by any third party. Well, that makes sense because Chen, Baekhyun, and Shuman are all grown men and besides being artists, they are also Korean citizens who know the Korean law. So there's no way they could be easily manipulated like SM said. Of course, SM will never admit they're being shady and it seems like they don't want to lose the trio. In case you didn't notice, the aftermath of Baekhyun, Shuman, and Chen's exclusive contract dispute was causing a sharp drop in SM's stock price. On June 1st, SM Entertainment stock price was 101,501. This represents a 7.38% decrease compared to the previous day's closing price of 109,701. The company must be freaking out, so they are trying their best to turn down all the allegations and make the trio continue being EXO members. And as you all know, or just knew, this is not the first time SM Entertainment has been accused of unfair treatment of its artists. Back in 2009 and 2014, JYJ and former members of EXO, Luhan and Tao respectively filed for contract termination, citing similar reasons to that of Chen Baekhyun. Since then, their legal battle with SM Entertainment also shed light on the darker side of the K-pop industry, where artists often face intense pressure, exploitation, and mistreatment in the pursuit of fame and fortune. One thing's for sure, when idols decide to stand up against their agencies, that's when their tolerance for the slave contract was beyond their limits. They defied everything even though they can lose the lawsuit, compensate the contract, or even get blacklisted. Regarding this issue, most netizens, especially XOL, express their disappointment with the way SM Entertainment behaves toward their idols. They said that SM is only out for money with no consideration at all for what fans really want. And it is obvious that SM has always been bad at doing their jobs. That's why they're always under lawsuits like this. 
I think that Chan, Baekhyun, and Shuman's courage to stand up against their agency and fight for their rights inspired many fellow artists to speak out against unfair practices in the industry. And the fact that the trio terminated contracts with SM meant that the agency is losing three of the hottest members of EXO, including two best male vocalists of the Gen 3 and a million seller solo artist. Furthermore, I find it hard to believe SM Entertainment's claim that external forces were responsible for luring the members. Well, I mean, Chen, Baekhyun, and Xu Min have been idols for over a decade. It seems unlikely they could be easily swayed as if they were newcomers to the the industry. What's more, SM is one of the leading entertainment agencies in the K-pop industry, and it is a dream for many aspiring artists to become idols under their management. So it's no coincidence that the trio decided to leave such a big company, indicating that the reason for their departure must be really terrible. Move on to the next discussion, which is about baby monsters Ayeon under fire for using a racial slur in a recently uploaded video. Controversy has arisen over a video posted on social media on May 29 showcasing Ahyeon's performance at Hanlim Arts High School. Despite her engaging performance, a cloud of concern has been cast by an allegation that Ahyeon used a racial slur, specifically the N-word, during her performance. This sparked a huge backlash among netizens as the usage of this word by a non-black person can be seen as offensive and discriminatory towards black people. In addition, the two songs chosen by Ayeon to perform, Feeling Myself by Nicki Minaj and Finesse by Bruno Mars featuring Cardi B were also accused by netizens of containing inappropriate lyrics and not being suitable to be performed in a school setting. Needless to say, the video rapidly gained traction online, with Ayeon facing two divided opinions from fans and internet users. While her fans explained that this is just an internal stage of the school, where students freely display their talents without strict control, it's not too bad that Ayeon didn't control her words that much. Moreover, debuting at a relatively early age probably made her lack the maturity to decide on suitable songs to perform at school, and that can be acceptable. They suggest a sincere apology would somewhat handle this issue. However, most netizens insisted that since Ayeon said she has been learning English since the age of five, it is impossible for her not to know about the N-word and its discriminatory history. Consequently, there were calls for her to be expelled from Baby Monster as the group wouldn't harbor such an individual who caused controversy even before their official debut. Some also argued that idols should bear the responsibility for such incidents, as this has occurred too frequently for them to be solely attributed to their management company. The worst thing is, YG Entertainment seemed to add fuel to the fire. As of now, they have remained silent on the issue with no official statement in response to the controversy. Worth mentioning, in the midst of the controversy, Baby Monster's Instagram account updates with a photo of Ion accompanied by the caption, Shh, let the photo speak for itself, instead of issuing a formal apology. This action from YG is seen as a challenge to public opinion and has intensified the discontent among fans. Well, I think that it is high time for K-pop companies to prioritize and invest in educating their trainees better to prevent this kind of thing from happening. This is frustratingly far from being the first time that a K-pop idol has been heard using racial slurs while performing. For example, an old video of rapper Lee Young Ji used the N-word during a performance drew attention online while Espa's Giselle came under fire for mouthing the same word a few years ago. Therefore, YG should learn from these past incidents and take the necessary training to ensure that their artists, including Ion and Baby Monster, are well informed on the importance of cultural knowledge. This can help them to minimize the potential consequences caused by inappropriate language or actions. Are you curious about the last discussion of today's video? If so, let's take a look at it. Before jumping into the discussion, I would like to inform those who haven't yet heard that Jisoo has just tested positive for COVID-19, and I am really shocked and sad to hear this news. But Jisoo is a strong girl, so I believe she will recover and get back to us soon. So recently, Jisoo's fans have stirred up social platforms and received countless criticism due to their allegedly ridiculous action. 
to be more detailed on 28th May after the end of the pop-up store event which was held in Song Sudong, Seoul. Dior Beauty uploaded numerous photos of Korean celebrities like Kim Yuna, Jisoo, Lee Jun Ho, Perin, and Jung Hae In. There would be nothing worth discussing if Jisoo's photos weren't put after Kim Yuna's ones, which literally drove her fans mad. As soon as fans noticed the order of these photos wasn't arranged as they expected, they immediately frowned upon Dior Beauty, questioning the reason why the brand would let its global ambassador come second. Some even criticized Dior Beauty, saying that they didn't respect Jisoo and didn't treat her the way she deserves. However, it seemed like the reaction of Jisoo's fans received loads of objections from netizens. They pointed out that it is true that Jisoo's fame is big, but Kim Yuna's influence is even greater since she had been a world famous figure skater since Jisoo was only 7 years old. And though she's just a house ambassador of Dior, the fact that Kim Yuna is considered Korea's national treasure due to having won countless national figure skating tournaments and brought glory to the country is enough for Dior Beauty to give her better treatment. To this point, netizens all got worked up, questioning Jisoo's fans whether they are embarrassed and out of their mind or not when comparing their idol with Kim Yuna because to them, Kim Yuna is on another level compared to Jisoo, though Jisoo is also a world-class star. What's more, some also asked these fans to know their limit and stop being so obsessed with the title Dior's global ambassador of Jisoo to the point that they take it as a reason to put her on top of the priority all the time. Well, there are plenty more of celebrities who have a greater impact than their idol. Well, I couldn't agree more with what netizen stated. I mean, I'm not claiming that Kim Yuna is more popular than Jisoo or deserves better treatment than her. I just agree with the fact that some of Jisoo's fans are being too sensitive and somewhat overreacting to this issue, making Jisoo's image and the relationship between the two girls' fans deteriorate. It would be better if they just take it easy instead of exaggerating everything as if Kim Yuna was guilty or the idol was treated badly while it's just the order of the pictures. So, do you think Chen, Baekhyun, and Shuman are likely to win this case? Is Ayeon's use of the N-word condemnable or acceptable? And do you think Jisoo was treated unfairly in the above controversy?